So guys, I've always been big into personal finance. I've actually worked in banking for almost eight years now. I'm all about saving money, building your retirement up, buying a house, not wasting money when you can. I do admit I waste a lot of money, Starbucks, fast food, a Tesla that a lot of people said I should have financed. But besides that, um, I'm really just starting to be smarter with money. I'm like looking at it long term. Like if I don't buy Starbucks today, that money could be worth $100 if I invest it properly. So I've just really been into investing into specific stocks, investing into the market, and just kind of having a longer outlook on life and money. And it got me thinking, because you guys know this, back in October, I posted a tweet that if this tweet got 1,000 likes, I would spend $6,000 on Tesla full self-driving. The tweet got 1,000 likes overnight. The next day I bought Tesla full self-driving. I made a video on it, and that's that. But it got me wondering, what if we, we rewind time and my tweet said something else? What if it said, if this tweet gets 1,000 likes, I'll spend that money on Tesla stock instead of Tesla full self-driving? And I crunched all the numbers, and it's very interesting. And I have a, some other thoughts about all of this too, whether you should buy Tesla stock or Tesla full self-driving, because Elon Musk has said full self-driving is like almost an investment in a way because it will go up in time. Tesla, according to the full self-driving theory, full self-driving as it gets more feature complete over time will become more valuable. So when I spent $6,000 on it back in October, it could be worth $15,000 when full self-driving is feature complete. You know, you never know. You're kind of just buying with the hope of it getting better and more valuable. And also too, guys, I'm gonna put links to my Acorns signup link and my um, Robinhood link below where you can get free stocks and free signup bonuses. Remember, Robinhood is for purchasing individual stocks like Tesla and Acorns is more so for saving extra money to put into like a managed portfolio, which is a great way to save money over time and just kind of ride those gains of the stock market. So I have the whole timeline on my phone. I've, I've kind of written it down. So let's actually go back to October 14th. The value of Tesla stock on October 14th was $247.90 when the market opened. And when I bought full self-driving, it was $6,000, but also if you had taxes, it was $6,410. So if we divide that out and do the complicated math, you could buy 25.85 shares of Tesla. I use Robinhood, which link in the description if you wanna sign up and get a free stock. Robinhood right now, unless you are part of their invite only group or whatever, you can't buy fractional shares, which means you can only buy whole stocks. So with Tesla, it's pretty expensive, so it's not like you can buy $50 worth of Tesla through Robinhood right now, unless you have that fractional shares feature. Let's just round down to 25 shares. So 25 shares would be $6,197.25. If we spent $6,197.25 in Tesla shares back in October, instead of buying full self-driving, right now, when the market ended this last Friday, 25 shares would be, and the total would be $11,953.75, which is an increase of $5,700. $56.25. And that's crazy. So that would mean like, if I took that money back in October, put it into the Tesla stock, I could withdraw nearly $12,000. And while Tesla full self-driving has actually increased from 6,000 to 7,000, it's not, it has not gone from 6,000 to 12,000. Like that's an increase, that's a crazy jump. Um, if full self-driving was literally feature complete, and it's getting to the point where you can have it drive you to work and you can sit in the back seat, I could definitely see it be, being that valuable or more. But also, if you want to think about my cash position, I'm actually in the negative right now from buying full self-driving. So like we said, I would have had $12,000 in cash if I spent the money on Tesla stock. But me buying the full self-driving and making the video, yes, YouTube does make me money, but I have not made all that money back. So I'm gonna go over with you the money I made from that video and one other video that kind of covers the cost a little bit. So in the video where I talked about full self-driving being worth it, that video has like a quarter of a million views and that has made me 
$1,575. So we're still in the hole, $4,835 right there. Um, I also made a Tesla tips and tricks and features video, which not everything includes full self-driving features, but we'll include it just because, because I know there was some. And I made $472.75 from that. So we're still in the hole, $4,092.25. If we want to get technical, we can subtract the $1,000 from us being in the hole from what full self-driving increased in value. That sounds very complicated, but full self-driving went from $6,000 to $7,000. So we can consider that like a $1,000 increase in value of my car. So at this point, from buying full self-driving, I'm still out $3,092.25, like in cash kind of. But two, full self-driving, while Elon Musk does say it increases the value of your Tesla, I really don't know how much that's true right now, especially if you try to do a trade-in. Um, no on November 18th, after I purchased full self-driving, I was received a, a quote of $43,900. Now I paid, I believe like 49,500 for mine um, because it didn't have full self-driving at the time. So basically if you take the 49,500 plus $7,000, at that time my car would have been worth 56,500. Obviously brand new cars do have depreciation. So the depreciation comes out to about $12,600. If you count my tax break, um, that I'll get the EV tax credit, which is no longer available right now, it'd be about $10,000 in depreciation. Of course, if I sold at private sale, the value would be way higher. And I also just do wonder if full self-driving is more valuable if you sell it private. Like say in the future that full self-driving is a $20,000 add-on, I'm sure Tesla's gonna find a way to make money between trading in and selling it to a new user, where if you do a private sale, Tesla doesn't really know, and they can just keep the full self-driving. But um, despite me being in the hole from buying full self-driving, there are some other things to mention, like obviously I'm getting use from it. I'm benefiting from navigating autopilot. I'm benefiting from auto lane change. I get to have the fun features like summon and smart summon. And I also get to have the future features of whatever full self-driving brings. And I also get the benefit of getting hardware three installed in my Tesla, which will be really exciting because I get to experience some of the newer features that other hardware three Teslas have, like being able to see cones, stoplights, stop signs, handicap parking spots and all that on my monitor. Um, and then soon in the future, it's gonna be like where your car can react to all those things. So it's gonna be fun for my car to, to like, you know, experience that for the first time. And I did reach out to Tesla to get Hardware 3 installed and they basically canceled my appointment and said reach back out in February. Maybe it'll be ready by then because it's apparently like VIN based. So Tesla knows which VINs are going to get Hardware 3 installed in which specific order. So I'm just kind of waiting. So basically at this point, like, am I disappointed that I spent the money on full self-driving instead of Tesla stock? And looking back, like, yeah, you can be disappointed, but you never know what the market's going to do. From October to now, it could have been totally different and gone backwards, you know, or it could be the same price. And it could have gone differently with full self-driving. Full self-driving could be feature complete by now and be more valuable. So you never really know. The biggest thing that gets me though, <laughs> full self-driving is preventing me from being very irresponsible and buying another Tesla. You know, we all get the urge to kind of upgrade over time, no matter what we have, no matter how nice of a car you have, you're always kind of looking at what's next, at least for me, which is a very bad trait to have. So like the Model 3 Performance, or maybe like the long range Model S, you know, you could see some reasons why I may want those instead, or even like a Model 3 Ludicrous Edition in the future with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, like that's definitely something cool to see in the future, faster, more range, stuff like that. But the thing is, if I'm buying a new Tesla, I have to spend that currently right now $7,000 on full self-driving to get those same features that I've known to love and get accustomed to. I really wish um, Tesla would release some way to make full self-driving transfer transferable to a new car. But I also do get that if they did that, they would also be losing out on a lot of money 
but they're also losing out on a lot of money because if a new Tesla comes out that I want, I'm really going to be thinking twice before I upgrade to full self-driving on that vehicle or even buy it altogether. I may just wanna stick with my Tesla I have right now. And regardless of what I wish or don't wish, I have started actually buying Tesla stock. I'm doing a um, challenge for 2020 where every single month in 2020, I'm going to be buying one share of Tesla stock every month. I guess I can just do it whatever day of the month I choose to, but every single month I'm going to buy a Tesla stock. And I actually had no idea that there was an actual term for that, but it's called dollar cost averaging, where basically every single month, if I buy Tesla stock, I'll be getting it at the highest prices potentially, but also the lowest of the time. So it kind of just like averages out versus basically worrying about when's the best time to buy and sell because as Tesla stocks creeping up to 500, people say that's high, but you could buy it, you could buy it at 500 and it could soar up to a thousand. You know, you never really know. And I just really believe in Tesla's overall long-term goal when it comes to solar energy, full self-driving, you know, robo taxi, potentially creating batteries for other manufacturers, their supercharging network. They just have a lot going on. And I think they can be a very valuable company can definitely be with one of the giants like Amazon one day where the stock is worth way over four figures. So I'm probably gonna make a video on that. So make sure you subscribe for that. I'll post it at the end of the year where I talk about how much money I made from buying one share of Tesla stock every single month. Also the two Tesla videos that I mentioned in this video, you can go ahead and watch them right there. It's about full self-driving and tips and tricks. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers in 2020. You can subscribe, I'm gonna put my head like right here and have a great day. Bye.